Fox, in anger, sliced off the tip of Thorfinn's left ear. The dark-haired man intervened, yelling at Fox to stop. Omar, recognizing the man as Snake, sheepishly asked him when he had returned. Snake approached Fox and punched him in the face, demanding an explanation from Badger for what was happening. As Thorfinn's wounds are being tended to, Snake scoffs at the guests, questioning their motives for tormenting slaves. Badger speaks up, telling Snake how rude Thorfinn is. Snake then steps forward, introducing himself and inquiring about Thorfinn's name. In an instant, Snake's demeanor turns hostile as he launches a surprise attack with his scimitar. Thorfinn, without thinking, counters with a high kick aimed at Snake's face, but quickly flips back as Snake blocks it. Thorfinn realizes that Snake's skills are comparable, if not superior, to those of Askeladd. Snake chuckles, telling Thorfinn that his body is telling him it wants to live. Omar and Einar are stunned by Thorfinn's sudden display of skill. Snake, nonchalantly, announces that he's heading back to bed, reminding the guests to ensure the safe return of Thorfinn and Einar. Thorfinn ponders the meaning of life and what he would accomplish if he were to survive. At Pater's abode, Thorfinn's wounds were tended to with care by the kind-hearted Pater, who mended the damages inflicted by the mercenary duo, Fox and Snake. Despite the severity of the cuts, especially the one on Thorfinn's ear, Pater brushed it off as a simple joke gone awry by hired guns. Einar, on the other hand, was not amused. He was worried that Thorfinn could have lost his life. But Pater put Einar's worries to rest assuring him that what mattered most was that both of them were still alive. Einar tried to express his concerns about the expenses, but Pater's generosity knew no bounds. He told Einar not to worry about it, as it was his duty to take care of them. Einar gratefully thanked Pater, also giving credit to Arnhade for informing him of their plight. As they left Pater's house, Thorfinn was surprised by Pater's offer of his shirt, as Thorfinn's own was now tattered and torn. Einar, irked by Thorfinn's lack of proper manners, reminded him to say thank you. Pater simply chuckled, understanding that Thorfinn was a man of few words. Despite Pater's suggestion to take a day off and rest, Thorfinn set off towards the forest, his wounds a mere trifle to him. Einar, determined to keep an eye on Thorfinn, followed closely behind. As Thorfinn wields his axe and fells trees, Einar ponders over Thorfinn's lightning-fast reactions during his showdown with Snake, coming to the conclusion that Thorfinn is anything but ordinary. He brings up Thorfinn's time on the battlefield, inquiring if he's ever taken a life. Thorfinn affirms with a nod, his attention solely on his work. Einar persists, asking how many people Thorfinn has claimed. Thorfinn wonders what purpose that information would serve, knowing Einar's aversion to war. Thorfinn admits that he can't even recall the exact number of lives he's taken, having been drafted into the Danish army at the tender age of six and participating in their invasion of England. He asks Einar if the revelation of his past as a warrior changes Einar's perception of him, leaving Einar with a look of inner turmoil. As the night settled in the barn, Einar's mind raced with the day's events haunted by the memories of war that took everything from him. Einar stands up and apparoches Thorfinn with a grim face. He recalls Thorfinn's words of killing so many people, thinking that people like him killed his family. He gets angry and starts chucking him with a grim face. At the same time, Thorfinn is having a nightmare. He dreams of being young and running in a dark forest alone. He stops and sees that his hole is burned to ashes. Suddenly, a man with a spear arrives and begins to attack him, but he blocks his attack and kills him with a knife. As he wonders what's going to happen, more men arrive and set their sight to kill him. As he yells due to his nightmares, Einar stops chalking him. Thorfinn then kills all the people in his dream, and one of them turns out to be the old woman who saved him. In the present, Thorfinn continues to yell for a bit, tortured by his dreams until Einar grabs his hand and Thorfinn wakes up. Shocked, Thorfinn looks at Einar and asks why he keeps waking him up when he is crying in his dream. With a grim face, Einar remains silent and doesn't say any word. Thorfinn then tells him that he is a monster who has killed many people in the past. From battle to battle, he had attacked many villages and killed so many lives, and he is no different than those who killed Einar's family. 
Einar recalls that Thorfinn said nothing good had happened in his life, grabbing from his shirt and asks Thorfinn if he want to die. He tells him that he doesn't know what kind of hell Thorfinn went through, but they can still talk, eat and sleep, because someone kept them alive. Remembering his family, Einar wonders how he can say nothing good happened to him. Einar then tells him that he is wrong and begins to cry. He also states that Thorfinn isn't the one who killed his family, so he shouldn't be that arrogant, and then sleeps on his side. Thorfinn then thanks Einar for waking him up. Einar states he can't get enough sleep because Thorfinn keeps talking in his. Thorfinn apologizes, and they both fall asleep. And this brings the anime to an end. Comment for part 5. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on another video. Until next time, take care.